Uh, hello everyone. So today we will try to make a new application uh, temperature uh, converter. Okay, so here let's type. Temperature converter. Okay, so finish. Okay, so temperature converter. Now let's create <coughs> package. So then let's create a Windows builder. Okay, so here I will call it. Here is our design path. Okay, so for our temperature converter, so we will need one. Uh, okay, let's set layout. So that layout, and uh, so for our temperature converter, we will have uh, the text field. Let's call it text. Okay, as default, let's insert uh, some number because we are going to uh, process uh, this temperature into some other units. Okay, and here also we will need uh, two uh, radio buttons. So let's call it, okay, this, that will be... Okay, so here uh, that will be to Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Okay, and one more. Two Celsius. Celsius. Okay, and let's call this radio button RB two F. So that one will be RB two C. RB two C. Okay. So RB to F, RB to C. So this is my text. Okay, and let's make a label. So the label and let's label, let's call comment. Comment. Uh, okay, and instead of the label, let's make. So we will also need button. A button. Okay, let's call it button convert. Button convert. Button convert. Okay, and let's change text. Convert. Convert. Okay, so now uh, when okay, let's run and see what how does our application looks like. So where is the button convert? So here I can choose one of these radio buttons and click the button convert. So here this uh, 100 degree will have to be converted either to Fahrenheit. So in here I can see the answer or like two uh, Celsius.
Okay, so in here, so you will be the few you know, different ways how to implement that particular application. Okay, so now let's go coding. So when we wanted to do the convertation, so I supposed to click the button convert. So that's why here I will have to uh, double click on the uh, button convert. And here, so we can perform our calculation. So in order to avoid any mistakes, let's use the try catch concept. Okay, so inside there is a here exception. Exception. So and when the exception here happen, uh, let's do the option J option pain dot uh, show. Message and the message, let's say, error. Okay, so and everything what will going wrong, I will try to catch as the exception and display error in my application. So, okay, so here we supposed to convert our temperature. Uh, to Fahrenheit or Celsius depends what uh, radio button we are using uh, right here. So um, definitely here we will use like the concept of if. So if my radio button is checked, so we are going to process uh, the calculation depending what radio button did we choose. So here the first radio button what we have is radio button to C dot is okay so in order to uh, handle our radio button properly so right here so what we can do we can name our radio button rp to f and use the command is selected. So if we already select our radio button, so we can perform our calculation here. So if radio button uh, like two Fahrenheit is not selected, we are using else. So means that we want to convert our temperature to Celsius. So and right here, so that will means we are going to convert our temperature to Celsius. Celsius. So that is how is the our radio button will looks. Okay, so right here there is one little problem. So if we launch our application, see if I want to convert to Fahrenheit, so technically I will choose uh, this. This certain action. So if I will click to Celsius, I supposed to convert our choice to the Celsius. But see what will happen. Both of them now they are active, so which is wrong. So we supposed to solve uh, this particular problem. So how to do this? So in order to uh, solve this problem, we supposed to create a group of our radio button which will contains uh, both of them to Fahrenheit and to Celsius together. So what we can do here, so we can go come back a little bit. So I see here, this is the place where we are creating our radio buttons to Fahrenheit and to Celsius. RB to F, RB to C. So and right here, I am going to create a radio button groups. So we can call it button uh, group. Radio button, button group. 
let's call it rb and that will be the equal new button group button group so, okay now we need to con con uh, combine those two radio buttons and make a group so what we can do like uh, right click here so here we can see like set radio button group and we can say as the new a new standard. So right here we can see that there is that uh, radio button groups. So here we can see that radio button groups now has the name button group. Okay, let's call it like RB group. So up to now it doesn't really matter what is this name. So now, now we need to add our radio buttons, what we already created into this group. Okay, so we can just, uh, move it like this, like right click, set radio button. We can see here where is radio button group, what we just created like click here. And now we can see that our RB to F now inside of our RB group. So same I will do for my convert to Celsius. So right now there are two radio buttons from our application inside of the radio button group. Once again, why we are doing this so here, if I will launch my application now, so I can see like now there is no choice. Assume that I am choosing the Fahrenheit. Okay, nice. So if I will choose to Celsius, it's automatically select to Celsius and will deselect to Fahrenheit. So now exclusively I can control the choice of my application. Okay, so this is the main idea of using the radio button groups to control our choice. Perfect. Okay, now coming back here. So and we will have to process uh, our calculation. So what exactly we must do here? Okay, first of all, what we will need to do is to uh, convert our text uh, written in the text box. So, so what we will do? Uh, first of all, we will need to pick a type of our uh, temperature and assume that that type will be float. So, and let's call it. Okay, so now so temperature we can convert using the function float. So here we will parse our float from the stream component, and that stream component will be my uh, text. So and the text is given as the my uh, text okay looks the name is wrong Good. okay so now what is the name see my text this is the, the variable name of my uh, text component i think this label better to delete Okay, now coming back to our source and let's try again. My text uh, dot and here get a text a text. So now our temperature will be converted from the text written in our text field. Yeah, let 
okay so now so uh, when uh, we will understand our choice so now we will need to process our calculation so the equation in order to get the converted temperature will be as follows uh, okay and here this is our temperature and will be the converted temperature let's just do it like this so in the converted temperature here will be what uh, so now we need to use an equation to get uh, Celsius from Fahrenheit and stop yeah to Fahrenheit we are converting Celsius to Fahrenheit. So, and the equation is like this. So, T2 uh, multiply our temperature. Uh, multiply by 9 divided by 5. Then plus 32. Okay. So, this is the way how to convert uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay, else, so my converted temperature uh, will be uh, like this. So here will be the 32 uh, multiply my temperature. Minus 32 and multiply by divided by 9. Okay. So and now I want to display this converted temperature in the screen back. Okay, so I'm using like my text here, so that's why. I will place uh, that converted temperature back into the uh, same uh, text component my text. So my text set uh, text set text. So here will be the float dot to string string and here that will be my converted temperature okay, so now let's see how it looks so we do have like 100 of something assume that i want to convert 100 to fahrenheit click convert so that is 212 Okay, so here if I will delete this temperature, let's say I want to check like 50. And if 50 this is the Fahrenheit, I want to convert to Celsius. So that is ten. Okay, so the calculation uh, looks working correct. Uh, but let's try to modify our uh, application just in order to see the more relevant data. So what I exactly want to display here is the complete procedure. How will I process my calculation? So assume that I want to like convert like 100 degree uh, from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So that is like 37 uh, degree Celsius from Fahrenheit. So, and what I really want to display here is this one. So, 
So I want to display. Uh, temperature. Okay, let's do it here. Okay, so here I will see. So if I want to convert to Fahrenheit, so the first temperature is the Celsius, like C equal, so that temperature, but this is the Fahrenheit plus Fahrenheit. Okay, click here, and I want to do the same here. So, but in the opposite order. So temperature will be gi given as the Fahrenheit, and this is Celsius. And let's see what will happen. Okay, see here I insert 100, so we'll pick Fahrenheit, convert. So 100 uh, Celsius equal uh, 212 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, and I think that. Okay, so now, yeah, at least this one is working. So actually, if I will click the convert one more time, so the error is coming. Why? Because I supposed to convert this full text into the uh, numbers. So our temperature supposed to be taken from the text given in my text but when we process our calculation here so i cannot do that yeah, anymore so in order to solve this particular problem so what will be better to do is to process this calculation just once so what uh, we can do here we can create Okay, so what we will need to do is to process our calculation only if uh, that particular data is given uh, once. So what I can do, so we can go up at the moment when our class temperature converter is created. And here, let's create a Boolean value. Let's call it like flag convert. And as default, that flag convert is true. So now, uh, every time when I will click the button convert, I will check. So if my flag is true, Okay, so if I want to format it, I can click Ctrl I. So if my flag is true, I will perform that calculation. So, but once I am doing it uh, here, when the calculation conversion done, I will simply set up this flag as false. So now see what will happen. So when I am launching my application, so okay, up to now my flag convert is true. So and if I will click, for example, to Celsius and will click the button convert, our my flag is still flag convert is still true. So that's why I can perform this calculation. So convert, I can see uh, this information. Okay. So now if I will click convert again. So we can see that this calculation is not working anymore. So, but actually now our application stuck and I cannot come back to the original state. So what we can do here is to add one more button which can uh, clean our uh, choice. So what I will need to do is to erase everything from my text field, erase my choice in between those two radio buttons 
Okay, and move our flag convert back to the like true position because now it is false. So going to the design, like let's add one more button. So that button will be the button button clear. And the text here is clear. Clear. Okay, this is our button. Let's make it. Okay, so let's make this button clear. So double click uh, here. So in right here, so I supposed to do whenever I need to perform my uh, button uh, clear. So once again, what I need to do is to erase everything from my text. So my text set uh, text, then inside will be empty. Erase the text. Okay. The next, what I will need to do is to uh, change my plug convert back to false. So and make my like my program enable that program to process the calculation. So here that should be true. And uh, to my radio button, like RB to F. Okay, so for the radio button, so here we will do that. Set selected false uh, B to C set selected false. Okay. Once again, what is happening here? So we will delete everything from our text field. So we'll turn our flag back to the true position. So we will make our calculation possible and both of our radio button uh, will be turned back to the false position, same as, as they were when we just start our application. Okay, now run our application. Okay, and see what is happening here. Like choose Celsius, convert. Now we can convert it into the Celsius. If I go click convert, it doesn't work. When we click the button clear, uh, okay. So actually this way it doesn't work. So what we will need to do is to control our group RB uh, group. Uh, dot and here I will need to use those clear selection. So and that will automatically deselect all of our radio buttons in the group. Okay, so now if I go click run. So here is our numbers. Assume that I want to convert to, to Celsius. This is our Celsius. Okay, if I want to click convert one more time, it doesn't work. If I change, click convert, doesn't work. So I click clear, so everything is erased. So now let's set up another temperature and click convert. So, okay, so now our application is working. Okay, so that was our second application in Java. Good luck.